Hey, this is Michael Davis, the Storytelling MD. As you can tell, I'm not in my beautiful 70s motif wood paneled office. I'm outside. It's 2.30 in the afternoon in the United States. It's a beautiful sunny day, or is it? As you can tell behind me, you're experiencing and witnessing that rare phenomenon, the solar eclipse. It's August 21st, 2017. Now why would I be doing a speaking video about solar eclipses? Well, the answer to that question is the subject of this week's Dose of Public Speaking Medicine. Unfortunately, we're not in a part of the country where we'll get total darkness during this eclipse, but that doesn't change my point. And here is the point of this video. When you're speaking to a group, you have no idea what's going on in their minds, their hearts, or their lives. Yes, you can do pre-speech research and you can find out general topics, areas of interest to the group. But what I'm talking about is the individuals that are sitting in the audience. And this leads to an important question. What is the purpose of a speech? Now, many people will say it's entertainment, it's information, it's education, and those are correct answers. There's no right or wrong to this. But years ago, one of my friends and mentors, Darren LaCroix, taught me an even more important reason for a speech, and that is to give people hope. See, the solar eclipse to me is a metaphor for what's going on in the lives of a lot of our audience members. They may be suffering physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, but they're not going to tell you that when they're sitting in an audience. You don't have much time with them. And if they are hurting, maybe they've, they're going through relationship issues, family problems, financial difficulties, job stress. I mean, the list is endless. They're not going to show that to you. However, we know that most people in our audience are, are suffering from something at any given time. And that's where you come in. You can give them hope. Now, Bill Gove, the founder of the National Speakers Association, once said, look, you're not going to change people's lives dramatically in a 45-minute speech. And I agree. Far too many speakers go in thinking, well, I'm going to completely change the way people see the world. No, you're not. <laughs> but what you can do is give them a perspective so that long after you speak, they may start change on their own. I know back in 2010, I was going through multiple problems financial difficulties that ended in bankruptcy, a divorce, and job dissatisfaction. It was not my best year. It wasn't a bright, sunny time for me. What helped me get through those times were my friends and also speakers. Speakers who had messages that I would go listen to time and time again. And what they gave me was hope that there was light at the end of my dark tunnel. So as you prepare your next speech, remember this. There are people sitting in your audience who are going through dark times. You're not going to pull them completely out of those times in a short speech. But what you can give them is a ray of hope. A hope that life will get better. Their relationships will improve. They'll find that person of their dreams. Their money situation will get better or they'll find the job they've always been looking for. So prepare your next speech with that thought in mind. Yes, you can entertain. Yes, you can educate. You can inspire. But more than anything, you can give them hope when their lives seem darkest. I look forward to speaking with you in our next video.